Welcome, everyone, to Layers of Fear. Now, this is a game that I have a love-hate relationship with. Um, I like, like the kind of the opening and the ending is pretty good, but the middle I remember being a bit weak. Um, so, it's it's a game that kind of relies on warped architecture and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just going to play through it and see what you guys think. I think you'll understand why I'm kind of hesitant about it, but it isn't a bad game by any means. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait is painted with feeling as a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, picture of Dorian Gray. So, we are a painter. A painter who is kind of going a bit around the, the twist. He's a bit wobbly. Um, and we kind of, we figure out why as the story goes on. Artist Triumph, Gary opening Wilde's Critics. Some call a new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck. And one awestruck <laughs> critic went as far to invoke the great spirit, no, the spirit of the great Leonardo. So we're a pretty good painter, all things considered. We would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialist as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectful woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no sign of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a prophy prophylactic spraying. Prophylactic, maybe. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton. Pesky Pests Pacification Co. Sounds like a nice bloke. And we can already see there that we're kind of going a bit around the bend. Oh, nice kitchen though. But who the hell leaves potatoes just sitting around the side? Clearly this man is insane. And he spilled some good wine. Figured he'd be up in the night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and shaved his head off like the rest of us. Come, wait. Okay, come again. Shoved, shored, it's like shaved. <laughs> okay. Shaved his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Well, I didn't really know what shaving your head off means, and that even is what that says. Boop. Ah, good old painting of food while you eat your food. Paint rose door. Burnt umber sienna. Brushes 25. Air fresheners 50 packs. Apples 10 kilograms. Booze 5, 10, 30. Nice shopping list. Needs more booze though. Store cupboard. Oh, it's pitch black. Is there a light switch? There we go. Nice. Got your corn, your garlic. Everything a man needs. Corn and garlic. That's part of the healthy diet right there. So, pretty much all of this game is just wandering around interacting with things. Uh, can't read pop call. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's in English. But it's a dog collar either way, so we had a puppy. Horror game bathroom, you know the drill. Can we get. Nope, we're a vampire, of course. And someone left the bloody sink running. One below knee prosthesis. How the hell did they fuck up the something? So, as you can probably tell, kind of by the walking, I think I'll, if I walk up and down here, you can tell by the camera movement, we have a limp. We got ourselves a bum leg, which is going to make it awkward when we try and run away from things. 
Let's seat down your scum. Anyways, it's just wasting time. Oh, hello. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. Brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Yeah. What's in here? Okay, then. <laughs> we'll leave that for now. Hobble up the steps. This is nice. This is like one of those really nicely decorated houses that's so bare that it just... That it just feels creepy. Oh, and... Mm. We'll get there in a minute. That's the office. I was saying, it just feels kind of awkward and creepy because it's empty. A big house is supposed to be full of people. Music notes. Nice. Let's play a little ditty. Oh. Yeah. Fine, you didn't like my music then. Screw you. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Bedroom, I'll take it then. Yep. Good tune. Turn that up. There's a gramophone, so I don't even know if there is a volume testing on the gramophone. I've never used a gramophone in my life. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Boa's Boa's hat is of first class quality, though. That's the real news here. What have we got behind here? Nice ring. Oh damn, that is good. Hello. Fan or mirror or whatever. Lots of bottles. Being an artist, he's drunk, of course. If you're in a creative field, oh. Okay, very drunk. If you're in a creative field, usually you have some sort of vice. Ugh. Locked. Probably for the best. So alcohol is growing up the wall. Hmm. Go. Looks like a child's bedroom. Hello, Mr. Ball. Well, this is just fucking creepy. Empty rooms. Nice. Picture of the happy family. A rattle? Yeah, silver rattle. Nice. So they were a wealthy lot. To afford a bloody silver rattle for their kid. Locked. Well, let's stop wasting time and go into the office. We can sort of run. It's like a kind of frantic hobble. I'm sorry I'll make it up to you. Tonight is all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Yeah. Never trust an artist. Oh, that's Little Red Riding Hood. Nice. Okay. Okay. Bit extreme there, pal. Hmm. Dear... My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times now, right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do these illustrations in the first place, for old times' sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task, because I expected a little red riding hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in, he no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Yeah, that's not very really kid-friendly, is it? Neither is this fucking thing. Jesus. Get some light in here. <laughs> More broken bloody bottles. But we have the key to the artist's studio, so... At least we can get to work. Oh, no. Where am I going? And more creepy paintings are doing the walls. That's that nightmare one with the uh, sleep paralysis thing. And this fucking guy staring at us as we go down the stairs. I'd rather you didn't. Okay. You're supposed to put the paint on the canvas, not the subject. <laughs> well, no shortage of bloody brushes. They're all broken, but. <laughs> Can't get in there. Ah, more fuel. Lots of fuel. <laughs> Some quick, decent sketches. 
I'll open you. Ooh, ooh. Got some actual brushes. Nice. Well, lost it. You deserve. Finish it. Let's see what's behind the canvas. So, empty one. Ready for us. But we can't actually paint anything in that one moment, I don't think. We need a subject, damn it. Get it right this time. Okay. And now you have layers of fears, unique thing. Because this is new, yeah. This isn't back in the house, is it? What's that? It's like Oscar Wilde. It's like the portrait of Dorian Gray again. Yeah, picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. It's wearing its influences on its sleeve. Yeah, it may be just out of reach, but if you slam a window on me, of course it is. <laughs> Can't. Okay, you're new. Can't give me shit for being out of reach if you just don't let me reach for it. It's rude. It's a rude house. I will not tolerate it. Going in circles. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Hi, friends. I don't know who you are. Because that's, yeah. <laughs> that's not helpful. Alright, what have we got? Save the date of blank and blank. Request your pleasure. Oh, okay, it's a like, marriage thing with jig. More paint. Oh, you're locked. So there's a code somewhere. There's whispering. Oh, that painting, yeah. I can't remember what it's of, but it's like... Yeah. <laughs> They're not nice paintings, is what I'm trying to get at. Fuck that thing on top there. It's like some weird fucking... mutant fish. Okay. Now we've got these kind of standard ones over here. <laughs> well, that... Oh. That one was... Oh, well, there's the code. 548. So it's like why the hell that kid's ass has been shown like that, but... What do I know about, you know, classic paintings? Maybe they all, you know, feature kids' asses in some way, and that was like, that was high class. See, it was whispering inside the box. The last holds back. Look closer. Whoop. Whoop. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Okay, that's equal parts sweet and sort of massively up your own ass. Never forget. Oh, this suddenly appeared. So this guy is a bit of a rocking chair. This guy's a bit of a rocking chair, as I meant to say. This guy is he's a bit of an arsehole. A bit up himself. As people tend to get when they're really successful. She needs to be especially creative types, because you've kind of put so much of yourself into your work, I guess. You've been sleeping around my workshop again. The last time you're not allowed in that room, even if the door happens to be open. I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time you have to look for a new job. I guess that's the maid that he's getting a bit salty with. But yeah. When you like create creative works, you kind of put a little fragment of yourself in it. Uh, as Oscar Wilde quote made clear. So... If you suddenly lose the ability to make good works of art, you feel like it's part of yourself that's dropped. And if people criticise your work, it's very hard to take the criticism as as the work and not as a criticism of yourself, if you see. It's one of the first things I had to cope with when I started doing uh, my creative writing course. I was realised that people are not criticising you, they're criticising the work. Uh, what the fuck? Well, okay. Yeah, this isn't a brilliant place to be in. Light, 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 light. Hey, buddy. It's just me and you here in the light. You know a way out of here, buddy. Oh, no problem. I've got one. It's cool. Oh, they've got the light switch, too. That's better. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. You, yeah, okay, stairs, please. 
So it puts creepy paintings to good use. <laughs> Why is there a trapdoor there? What kind of fucking madhouse is it? You have a trapdoor just in your, like, sitting room or whatever. Okay. Mm. Well, I hope you got a good view of all that, buddy. Jesus. So this is an unusual house. <laughs> nice globe. Yeah, you better slide shut. <laughs> oh. Alright, lads. This is the walk of shame now. Yeah. Paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> I'm not that round. <laughs> okay. Well, that's actually quite a nice one. Uh, there's a bit of ooze on the back there. Cool. Everyone's getting kind of warped. Hello, friend. What's going on down here? I hear a, a rat. So there was a rodent problem. Hey, uh, that's a fire there. Hmm. Well, that's distinctly fucked up. Poor rats. I love rats. I don't want to burn them. Whatever. Oh, hello. Screeching arsonists, echoing screaming, they stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. Okay, says so rats in the fucking fireplace now, is there, you nut job? Hello? Can I? Nope. It's just still too small to see who you are. Um, but this guy loves his. Uh, he loves his fine art. I can respect that. He loves his bloody Oscar Wilde as well. He's got the same, like, 50 billion copies of the same book. Nice painting. I really should have brushed off my paintings. So I can impress you all with knowing what these paintings all are, but I, I don't, I don't. I just look at them and go, that's good, that's, that's nice. That's a nice painting of this man. I'm sure this man was a good man. Um, and now he's dead. Cool. The fire's gone out. <laughs> I don't know paintings could die. Maybe they have a shelf life. So your sell-by date's gone. Yeah. Right, you don't have to throw things at me, Jesus. I was just criticising you know, like your 50 copies of Oscar Wilde and then they got pissy with me and threw them at me. I mean, you can read what you like, mate. You don't have to like get all salty about it. Jesus. Getting salty about Oscar. Anything written on the wall out here? What even is that out there? It's just a window into a random brick wall. With a couple of crates, like a little storage room or something. Seems odd to have a window into that. Not much of a view. Hello? Don't be sad, lady. The crazy painter man will make it all better. Oh, why she stop crying, so? Nope, there she is. Okay. Another one that I've seen before, but couldn't tell you the background of. I just really hope we get the dogs playing poker. <laughs> Paprika. I were in the spice cupboard with lots of paprika. Can't really fault you. Paprika is brilliant. That's good stuff. Uh, but I mean, this may be a bit too much paprika. I like paprika as much as the next man, but. Oh, oregano, sugar. Something that's not paprika. <laughs> oh. We're stepping on the shards of more fucking paprika. Garlic. First step is the hardest. Well, let's see how the first step goes with us. Well, we're in the kitchen. At least everything seems fresh still. Not coming in, it's all bloody rotten. <laughs> Anything in the oven? <laughs> That's a lovely picture of the food again. So, I guess storage cupboard is probably... No. Hmm. Can't get back out. 
Hello? Oh. Okay. Uh, the painting's oozing into real life. Hello? Hello? Okay. Am I going to turn around to the Matrix like Agent Smith there and he's really an old woman? No. Hello? Ooh. Okay. Man, I'd love to have a painting like that if he just leaked food. <laughs> Sweet. We're sorted. What is that? First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Fantastic. A bit of skin for your canvas. Whose skin, I wonder? I really hope it wasn't your wife's. So you can see why he's going a bit nuts. He's getting a bit wobbly there. He's using skin as a canvas. Um, but we will return to the adventures of the crazy painter next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like my content, please do check out my other videos. And if you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.